How do YouTube today? We're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Spawn of the Symbionites Marvel's Carnage. Very excited to check this guy out. Carnage, one of my favorite Marvel characters of all time, one of my favorite Spider Man characters of all time. Very nice detail. In the package, this guy looks really cool. I love that he comes with uh, the head and some fire of the Build It uh, Green Goblin, which is pretty nice to see. Very keen to get this guy opened up. So in terms of packaging, he does come with the standard Marvel Legends packaging, which is pretty nice to see. Uh, I'll flip it around on the side so you guys can see a nice shot of Spider-Man there. It would have been nice if they had a, had a shot of Carnage, uh, to be honest with you. Same uh, same shot of Spider-Man there, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, at the top there, we've got the Spider-Man logo. Flipping around to take a look on the back, you can see uh, there's Carnage and uh, Toxic uh, Toxin. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, nice little read-up talking about uh, the two on the top right of the packaging there. Other figures in the wave, obviously there's uh, Carnage, Toxin, there's... Um, a really nice looking Spider-Man, which I want to try and pick up. There's the Doc Ock Spider-Man, another one that looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm just looking here. There's obviously Electro from the Spider-Man movie, uh, which wasn't a bad looking figure, to be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, not a bad wave. And then obviously you can see at the bottom the Build It Yourself Green Goblin. So let's get this guy opened out of the packaging and hopefully give you guys a cool review. Now, the first time I had ever seen Carnage was in the Amazing Spider-Man cartoon from the 90s. And he was awesome. I, rem I remember they did the great um, Venom saga, and then that split off and introduced Carnage. And I thought, this guy's fantastic. A very cool, very exciting character. In terms of figures, I remember as part of the animated series, they released a Carnage figure that came with a removable mask. And uh, also a lot of the uh, symbionites sort of coming off him and... Uh, a lot of the lines and, and, and stuff like that, which is very similar to this. So part of why I love this figure so much is that it reminds me, and it's almost like a throwback to that late 90s uh, carnage. So very cool. In terms of detail, I'll bring it forward so you guys can, can check out the face. Don't know if I'm a fan of the face. Uh, it almost looks very alien-like, which I, I guess it's supposed to, but I prefer the uh, the carnage head from some of the other figures, and I'll bring in another Carnage in a moment. He does have a ball-jointed head, which is, is pretty handy. Obviously, ball-jointed arms swivel up here. Bend in the elbow, although mine's a little bit warped. I don't know if you can see that, which is a little bit annoying. And then swivel in the wrist. I always love, same with, uh, with my Venom figures, having uh, the really sharp, uh, angular fingers. I always think that's a really nice, sinister, menacing look. Obviously, ab crunch as well. Swivel in the waist. Lots of articulation and movement. Swivel in the thigh. Double bend in the knee. Swivel. Actually, this is, this is fantastic in terms of articulation and movement. So, very cool, very well detailed carnage figure. In terms of the back, he does come with this removable piece here which is very nice to see so you can have him on his own or if you want a little bit more of a crazy stereotypical carnage look you just peg that in on the back so very cool i think they've done a fantastic job with this guy now carnage of course also comes with two pieces for the green goblin he comes with a very nice sinister looking head which is very cool lots of great detail on that and also some flames for the back. So pretty cool, a lot of nice accessories uh, that he does come with. Now just for the sake of comparison, I've got here another Carnage figure released from the early to mid 2000s. The same height as you can see. Um, if I had to pick a Carnage, I'd probably take this one on the left. I love the added detail, having uh, all the bits of the the Venom or the Carnage symbiote coming off him. I think that's a really cool addition. One thing I do like on this is the black hands. I think that's really cool and a really nice look. I also prefer the face on this guy. I'll bring it forward so you guys can see and hopefully get a better look. But the face on this Carnage here I think is a lot nicer. It looks a lot more sinister. Uh, I think that's a really cool look. The only thing I don't like is the silver 
the silver for the eyes. I always was a fan of the white, but uh, still really, really cool figures.